Hi, this is Allison Tandry of DIY Salvation, a free service offered on YouTube to help others understand and practice the resolution of the mind, also known as TROM. TROM is a method for resolving one's mental and spiritual condition solely through their own efforts. The only assistance one needs is the data on how to practice it, which can be found on this channel whether by watching the videos, listening to the lectures, or reading the free ebook that we link to in every video's description. TROM was researched and developed by Dennis Stevens. Dennis's background knowledge comes from having been a career Scientologist. Not only was he a member of the church, he was also a skilled practitioner and friend to L. Ron Hubbard. And when I tell people that, that's usually where I lose them. Right from the start, right at the mention of the word Scientology. The way that Scientology is portrayed in the media is designed to scare people away from it and anything having to do with it. I've had my own issues with the Church of Scientology as well, which I've already illustrated on two other videos on this channel. So, I do understand why people would want to stay away from Trom. But I also know why they shouldn't. Scientology is a body of knowledge. Nothing more, and nothing less. It's L. Ron Hubbard's research into the mind, spirit, and life. A collection of books, audio lectures, and even some video presentations. The Church of Scientology is no more than a keeper of this body of knowledge, and a business that sells services based on this knowledge. If all anyone ever did with L. Ron Hubbard's books, lectures, and videos were reading them, listening to them and watching them, then practicing what was taught in them, and there was no Church of Scientology, there would be no controversy or bad press about Scientology save maybe an occasional critique on the theories themselves. There would not be any of the news stories about corruption and abuse. Scientology would be judged solely on its theories, and not on the organization running it. The Church of Scientology and its reputation is the problem, not the subject itself. And the main reason there's a Church of Scientology in the first place, is because Scientology requires a skilled practitioner to administer it. That means there has to be an organization to train such individuals. That means that there has to be money charged for services. But even then, the subject of Scientology is still no more than a body of knowledge. Unfortunately, that body of knowledge gives the staff and executives a feeling of authority that they don't actually have. Members are required to pay large sums of money for services. Members are forbidden to engage in certain mental and spiritual practices the church doesn't approve of. Members are told who they can or can't associate with. Members are forbidden to publicly express disagreements they have with the administration. And on and on we have a list of problems that no one can deny exist no matter what side of the controversy you are on. Dennis Stevens knew about these problems all too well. So, he developed a system of resolving one's mental and spiritual condition without the need of a practitioner or an organization. While the Church of Scientology requires money, loyalty, and other so-called good behavior from its members, the practice of TROM requires none of this. Practicing TROM does not make you a Scientologist or a member of the Church. The Church of Scientology does not permit its members to practice it. They believe their technology is perfect and anyone who would dare to change anything about it, or try to improve upon it is playing with fire. I don't believe this at all. And neither do others who practice TROM. I believe the Church of Scientology opposes TROM because it violates their salvation for sale business model. In other words, they don't want anyone going free unless it's someone they choose, and they get their cut. It's as simple as that. If you are a Scientologist and have suspicions about whether or not TROM is a valid, workable subject, I invite you to watch the TROM vs. Scientology playlist on this channel. If you are a newcomer and have no background in the older subject of Scientology, there is a playlist simply entitled Start Here that will walk you through the basics of TROM. If you are anti-church, rest assured, we are not the church and are not here to persuade you into joining them. I mean, you can if you want to. We're not here to tell you what to do either way. TROM is not just an alternative to Scientology. It is a solution to the problems posed by the church. 
It is practiced by those who want to take their own responsibility for their mental and spiritual condition and not have to pay for such services or be bound by loyalty to an organization. If, after all I've said now you still won't do TROM because Dennis Stevens at one time studied and practiced Scientology, then I am sorry to say, you don't have the intellectual capacity to do TROM, and you will have no hope of learning it as long as you hold that prejudice. I'm Alison Tandry. We are DIY Salvation. Don't just use your mind. Resolve it.